remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. This is going to be a spicy dairy rice. Very easy to prepare. And I'm going to take you to the journey so you can prepare it yourself. Get some green beans. You don't have to go crazy. Make sure you cut the edges. And then what you want to do, you want to cut them in an angle. You don't want them too long, too large. You don't want them taking over this meal. Get a couple of strings of rosemary. You don't need a lot. Kind of peel them for the turns. What you're going to do, you actually, what you're going to do, you're going to cut them into small pieces. This is just to add some aromatics, some nice flavor. And cut them very small and thinly, see? You don't need a lot. Poblano pepper, poblano pepper. You don't go too crazy. You can cut it four pieces. You can clean this stuff out here. About a pound of ground meat, some salt. That's how you need, okay? You can go a little bit generous. And then you're going to mix it and put it aside, okay? Pot, rice, half about a cup. High heat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some beef stock. And I have about maybe a cup and a quarter, maybe a cup and a half. Once again, I have this a high heat. Now the trick here is you want the liquid, when you're looking at the rice, you want the liquid to be on top of the rice, so you put this on top of the rice. And it's going to be about maybe half an inch, quarter an inch. Then, as it starts to heat up, because you want it to start boiling first, Get a little bit of turmeric, just a pinch. Put it around. Literally just a pinch, you know? And do the same with smoked paprika. Wait until it start boiling first, okay? When it starts simmering, let me give you a little shake. What I'm going to do, reduce the heat to medium, and I'm going to pour it and let it cook. It's about 10 minutes, liquid, evaporate. What you're going to do, you're going to stir this baby now, okay? Cover it. Now you're going to cover it for like three minutes, okay? Make a low heat, three minutes, and then you're done. You remove it, okay? Get a pan. I'm going to put about maybe a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to preheat it. And then Going to add some onions. You don't have to go crazy, but you want to saute some onions, okay? And 
While you do that, you can add some of your green beans and add some peas. I'm going to saute this baby. Remember the poblano paper? Put it there too so it starts cooking somewhat. You want to do this for about three or four minutes. Let me add um, the habanero too. With the seeds, don't add the garlic yet. Just keep the garlic aside. It's about two minutes later. I do have the heat at medium, by the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add you can either remove this and put it aside, or you can just move it to the side and add your meat. Going to put a little bit of a garlic powder. No garlic salt, but garlic powder. You're going to start cooking that meat. Easier if you move the vegetables, put them out. But I'm going to cook it here. You put the vegetable out, then you're going to add them later. But I'm cooking everything together now. Make sure that meat is cooked, okay? Medium heat. Meat, relatively cooked, about 90%. So what you do now is, you bring this garlic, that chop, two teeth chop, put on top of the meat, mix it up, you start mixing the vegetables too. Hot and dirty, you know, hot and dirty, it's not going to be pretty, it's going to be hot, dirty and delicious. Remember the rosemary that chop? Sprinkle some on top of the meat. Mix everything up. Let this go for about 45 seconds, maybe a minute. Make sure everything is mixed, okay? So naturally, the beef the ground beef is going to release some fat. Don't worry about it. Because now you're going to bring this rice. And this rice has some safa rat or pigao. Kind of don't add it button a little bit. Don't worry, add that too. Some crunchiness to it. Doesn't matter. So practically everything is cooked. What you're doing is mixing the flavors. So mix them well. Get that stuff dirty and hot. Who doesn't like dirty and hot, huh? And that little fat and stuff is going to absorb in the rice, adding that delicious flavor. It's kind of moisture. Let me get this little pig out. I don't need it. But you can leave it there. It's called a safa rat pig out. Some people like it. Some people don't. Make sure everything is mixed. Keep this a couple of notches below medium. Because you don't want it burning anymore. Be right. Move things around. 
do this for about a minute or two. Because everything is, is cooked, what you're doing is mixing flavors. Baby. 